short people, short dollars? Okay, this one you really can't see. It says Made in Japan. And the Polar Polish dollar? Okay, so Italian dollar. We used to flip quarters in Howard Beach. It's the new Reagan dollar bills. Okay, and of course I always carry with me some folding money. <laughs> but you know how to save money, don't you, people? <clears throat> All you got to do is learn how to stretch a buck. That's right. <laughs> Thank you very much for the dollars. I'll uh, afford the network, so I'll throw that out of the end. Okay, first trick of the evening. Got a ring. Would you examine that ring, sir? Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, the ring's on the rope, though. You can see that, okay? We're going to take the ring and tie a knot in the ring just like this. Oops. I'm going to try it again. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now I got a knot. Okay, miracle of miracles, ladies and gentlemen. What I'm going to do is take the ring off the rope without taking the rope. We stand up here. Without taking off the knot. Can you see if I can do this? Miracle of miracles. There it goes, ladies and gentlemen. The ring comes right off the rope, but the knot remains. The hard part is, ladies and gentlemen, taking the knot off the rope. That's the hard part. Jewish woman, Mrs. Cohen, Mrs. Schwartz is walking down the road. Mrs. Schwartz says, so how's your husband? Oh, he's fine. He's making a lot of money. He's doing terrific. He just bought a million and a half dollar house in a, in a, in with 15 acres. It's terrific. How's your husband? He's got eggs. So what are you doing for him? Well, in the morning, I give him a matzo with a shmeer. In the afternoon, I give him a matzo with an egg. In the evening, I give him a matzo with peanut butter. She says, why matzo? Morning, afternoon, eat. She says, the only thing I can slip under the door. <laughs> Cuban boat person goes to the welfare office. She says, I'd like food stamps. So the woman says, sure. How many kids do you have? So I have 10. What's their name? Fidel. What's the other names? They're all called Fidel. Why do you call them Fidel? Well, in the morning I say Fidel and they all come in for breakfast. In the afternoon I say Fidel and they all come in for lunch. And in the evening I say Fidel and they all come in for dinner. She says, well, what if you want to talk to them individually? So I call them by their last name. <laughs> a little time again. Yeah. Okay, enough of the jokes. Let me see, what do I have left? Oh, we have to do a legitimate trick. If you know. <laughs> <laughs> she really like that joke. Here. <laughs> okay. You want to look at me? Okay. Let's see if I can do this now. Nothing in the hand, by the way. Just, just um, so you got to watch it from up here because you'll see it right there. Just pay attention. Jesus Christ. You push it back a little bit. Now I have a little crazy going on here. Let me just up a little bit. Do people know Mike? Yeah, Anybody yeah. know Mike? No. Mike makes, he's a, a, a wonderful magician, but he's also a terrific artist. Okay? And he's been teaching me how to, how to paint. 
You understand what I'm saying? So what I'm going to try... Is that Mike? That's not Mike. Anyway, no, because he's laughing. Uh, like he said, I was teaching him how to paint. Anyway, Mike has been teaching me how to paint. And what I'm going to... For the first time tonight, I'm going to attend in front of these magicians to, to make a... Uh, do a painting of Mike Morris. If you, you wouldn't mind. No, brother. Brush here. I call me him. Yeah, turn the spotlight off. Turn the spotlight off. Turn the spotlight off. Mike, your head is shining in my eyes. Sir, would you stand up right over here? I mean, I don't have an easy, so I'm going to ask you to just hold this up. Don't let Mike see it because I want to surprise him again. Thank <laughs> you.